When we think of nuclear war, we think of the bombs. In school, we're taught about the horror of the huge mushroom clouds and the fiery energy scorching everything in its path. We're taught that millions of people could potentially be killed in a nuclear war or disaster. But what many people don't know is what happens after a nuclear war can be even more devastating. First, a quick lesson. When talking about nuclear bombs, we talk in terms of megatons of energy released. The most infamous nuclear bombs, the two dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in the summer of 1945, each measured between 0.01 and 0.02 megatons. Since then, nuclear warheads have gotten a whole lot stronger. Most nuclear weapons today are between 8 and 30 times more powerful than the weapons that destroyed Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Current estimates put the explosive power power of the world's nuclear arsenals at 5,000 megatons, 400,000 times as powerful as the Hiroshima bomb. Now, let's look at a scenario. In this example, India and Pakistan each detonate 50 Hiroshima-sized nuclear weapons on the other cities. This represents less than one half of 1% of the explosive power of all nuclear weapons in the world. It would be a massive tragedy, of course, yet one that would be relatively limited to the countries in which it took place. At least, that's what you'd think. But according to recent studies, there could be catastrophic global effects from this regional nuclear war. These 100 relatively small bombs would cause fires that would release immense amounts of smoke and other particles into the atmosphere. The reduction in sunlight would lead to the lowest temperatures on Earth in the past 1,000 years. Precipitation around the world would drop, and growing seasons in many regions would be significantly shortened, causing crop shortages and famine that would lead to the deaths of hundreds of millions of people worldwide. But wait, it gets worse. Instead of less than one half of 1% of the world's bombs being set off, if a nuclear exchange were initiated with existing arsenals of strategic nuclear weapons, the effects would be colossally worse. Temperatures of many places would become inhospitable for human life. In Central North America and Eurasia, temperatures would be below freezing for one to three years agricultural land would become incredibly scarce in most parts of the world. Sustenance would become a luxury, and billions of people would die. The planet we live on is a delicate ecosystem. Even if a nuclear exchange takes place halfway around the world from you, Nuclear famine means that you and those you love could still become victims of nuclear war. So long as nuclear weapons exist on the planet, nuclear famine means that no one is safe. To learn more about nuclear famine, go to www.wagingpeace.org slash famine.